Hey guys, it's the moment everyone was waiting for my winter car washing video. This is going to be very detailed. I'm going to go over everything on the table. A lot of the products that are on the table, including the equipment, I've used in all of my car washing videos on my channel so far. However, the technique for the winter wash is completely different on how I do it, how I mix the chemicals, and the application. So the first and the most important thing is you physically need to be prepared to do this. You need rubber gloves that are insulated. I got two pairs up here. Without these, you're not gonna get this job done. No matter what you do, you're not gonna get it done. You need a hat, whether a beanie. I have a Uggs $200 Sherling hat. This thing is the best. And I have a set of Uggs boots, and I'm all suited up, I'm warm. As soon as you get cold, as soon as you get wet, you're not gonna do a good job. You're gonna be tempted not to do it, you're gonna run it through an automatic car washer, you're not gonna do it at all, and your car's gonna look like crap. Gotta get yourself prepared mentally, physically, dress warm, do not wear sweats, wear jeans, do not wear sneakers, do not wear a baseball cap. It's freezing outside, it's 28 degrees right now. It warmed up a little bit from earlier. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod, I'm gonna show you everything here, and I'm gonna explain to you in detail, and then we're gonna get this job going for you guys. All right guys, like I explained, these are the gloves. I'm not going to go too much in detail over that, but I'll put links in this video description for everything here and how everything in this process has changed. The most important thing that's going to make this job go easier is your wax preparation on your vehicle. I cannot stress this enough. You've seen my channel. If this is your first time here, this is the product that I use. Colonite 476 is my winter prep wax and 915. I do several coats of this a year. So before the winter, I apply two coats of the 476 in my garage with the body of the car at room temperature. I wait about an hour in between coats. It's okay to layer this stuff. So I do two coats of this and I do one coat of 915. And this is why the salt and sodium chloride and all the crap that they throw on the streets to melt the ice and snow doesn't really stick to my car the way it does. And I'll put some uh, thumbnails in the description now of the video showing you some cars that are parked behind my office and you can see how trash these cars are because these people never wax or maintain their cars. So this is your number one line of defense. Whether you want to do this or you want to go spend thousands on a ceramic coating, you have to do something if you care about your car. Uh, this is the most important thing here that's different is this adjustable power washing wand. As you can see, it articulates. So if you look at this, it looks like an assault weapon. Very macho. You guys are gonna love it. It comes in two flavors. You have the long, and I got the short. I own both of them. And then here's my standard power washer wand right there, which I disassembled, and I'm gonna use this for something else. So here's how this is so cool. You guys are gonna love this. So with the grip here, this twist, every time you twist it, you're changing the direction of your stream, okay? And this is how I clean inside the wheel wells, underneath the car, inside the suspension, everywhere, just to get all of the salt off the car. You need something like this. You're not gonna be able to do this with a 45 degree lance um, or anything else. This is what you gotta do. Uh, these, I didn't even know they still made these. I bought these uh, units at Granger a long, long time ago and I still had them, I had them tucked away. Uh, and like I said, I pull them out only in the winter time. And I looked, these are still available. Uh, they're about 60 bucks well worth the investment. We got the Griot's PFM, smaller towel, drying towel, you know the deal with that. Spray bottle of the Chemical Guys VO7. That's gonna be for the drying. We have Malco Red Thunder, which is my all-purpose cleaner degreaser, mixed 60-40. This is gonna be sprayed on the tires to clean the tires. One of the most important steps that's different from all my washes in, in the winter is using the Solo Sprayer to pre-treat the paint. What I did here, this is filled up 60% with warm distilled water, the remaining with Chemical Guys VO7, and then one complete pump of Honeydew Snow Foam. I pumped it up to 30, uh, 30 pumps. We're going to spray this on the entire painted surface. It's going to actually agitate and soften up a lot of the calcification and the salt that's on the car right now. This is a must. You don't want to just start streaming with high pressure because the salt is kind of stuck to the paint. It's kind of like glue and if you put a lot of pressure in the car you're actually 
even though it's gonna shoot it off the car, you're gonna actually cause scratches. Believe it or not, I learned that a long time ago. All of my cars since 1991 have been black, so I know all about this stuff. Uh, here we go, we got the MTM foam cannon. Same situation here. We have 50% warm water, we have two pumps of honeydew snow foam, and then I fill the remainder of the MTM professional foam cannon. I put 15 complete pumps of the Chemical Guys VO7. Okay, now Chemical Guys does make a VO7 optical car wash soap. I don't use it. I do know that they put the optical sealant in the soap. I don't know the quantities, but 15 pumps with two pumps and the rest of warm water seems to work the best. Okay, Sure Shot Sprayer. You guys have seen uh, my sprayer video. I have the Griot's Garage wheel cleaner, original wheel cleaner at full strength, filled in here. I charge the bottle at 125 PSI. Uh, the G7 Hypercoat, you guys know what this is, is for, uh, for tire dressing. This is my generic, you know, cleaner brush I use for the wheels. Chemical Guys VO7 and Honeydew Snow Foam. You guys know this is some of my favorite product here. Now, as far as buckets go, and a lot of guys are complaining that I don't use the two-bucket method, but you know what? I use the two-bucket method in a winter. <laughs> Actually, a three-bucket method. These are smaller uh, three-gallon buckets that I use just for the wheels. I have um, a couple of ounces of the Griot's Garage wheel cleaner in here with some water and I have a microfiber mitt that's very similar to the one that's on my mop and two of the wheel willies. In this bucket I have 15 pumps of Chemical Guys VO7. The remainder is going to be filled with water. This is the rinse bucket. Over here we have two complete pumps of Honeydew Snow Foam and this is going to be the wash bucket, rinse bucket, wheel bucket. Okay, so let me just show you guys. This is the uh, the Meguiar's grit guards. They fit in there perfect. And look at what I did. I take the metal handles off these buckets, and if you see here, you see that little protrusion right there where the handle goes? Okay, so the ones on the inside, I take a bolt with a washer and a nut. I connect the buckets here. I take some steel galvanized perforated uh, stock. I pop the casters off, and I basically connect the two buckets together. So, with the mop, as you guys can see, I can manipulate and move the entire wash and rinse apparatus around the car without bending. And I'm all about efficiency. I'm all about doing it faster and doing it better and uh, maximizing my time. Now, some guys love this mop. Everybody thanks me for it. I've gotten hundreds of emails since I started my channel. I appreciate the support. So now, some of you guys uh, out there are using these fancy microfiber mitts that are very, very tightly woven. I find, with owning black cars my whole life, that scratches the car. I originally used to use that back in the days. No more. I like these. You can see the open area of the mitt, and this does not let the very, very fine micro particles cling to the surface of the mitt. So with a couple of good shakes in the two buckets, this mitt never ever gets contaminated. I swear by these things. I'm telling you guys, if you never used it before, just watch these videos. It's gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier. So it's damn cold out here. I'm gonna strap the camera on. I'm actually gonna to try to put the camera on the actual pressure washer wand when I'm ready. I'm gonna see how that comes out. That might be cool and uh, get some footage with that. I'm gonna put my gloves on now. We're gonna start, we're gonna pre-treat and then we're gonna go through the whole wash process for you guys. So this is everything here and Take the time and do it, and do it right. And you're gonna see the final results. It's probably gonna take about 35, 40 minutes. It's colder. When it's cold out, you tend to go a little bit slower. That's just life. But uh, don't give up. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're pre-cheating the paint. Okay. And the solo sprayers are great. If you guys haven't picked one up, you better pick one of these things up. And you guys could see how this solution with the VO7, the distilled water, and a little bit of honey to snow foam is just breaking all of this stuff up. Also, the VO7 mixed in with the solution prevents 
the solution from freezing I found and I found this out years ago that's why I still use it also in the winter I use this stuff for everything you don't have to go crazy just see where it's really heavily soiled okay you guys could kind of see the car is getting suds up right here and this is just a pre-treat and you can see here how bad but if you look carefully you could see a lot of the junk is falling off the car just with this little little bit of pressure okay and that's what you want you don't want to go full stream with the power washer right now you want to soften this stuff up and any noise in the video that's the wind guys I can't control it I got the microphone buffer on but I can only do so much it's pretty windy out right now and you guys can see all the salt just fly right off the car and a lot of that comes to the colonite. I take care of my cars. You know, I spend the time, I apply multiple layers of wax throughout the year. And with the entire car covered, you're going to use pretty much everything in the solo sprayer, like I just did here. So we just pre treated the entire car. All right. Now we're going to move over, let this sit, we're going to move on to the wheels. Alright guys, spray the uh, Nalco Red Thunder on the tires. And give it, spray it liberally. And this is my favorite, the Sure Shot Sprayer. I mean, just look at the penetration of what this stuff does. You're not going to be able to get this with the Solo Sprayer or with the conventional sprayer, okay? You guys can see how perfectly covered that wheel is. Like I said, I don't really put a lot of tire dressing on in the winter, but you just want to get all the junk from the streets, because like I said, they throw a lot of chemicals down with the salt, and uh, you just don't want to risk browning the tires. And when I get the power washer with that adjustable wand, we're going to get all up in here. Wait till you see that. You guys are going to love it. I hope you guys are paying attention with that. I'm wearing gloves. Insulated gloves. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this job. I just want to get the face. Then we're going to go with the wheel woolly. And this is another little trick that I'll show you guys. The solo sprayer, I mean with the uh, shirt sprayer, just douse the wheel woolly. It's fully loaded with the wheel cleaner. And you're gonna go in there like that. Like I said, this is a wash. This is a preventative maintenance wash. This is not a full-blown detail just because it doesn't pay to do that right now because it keeps snowing in New York. And you get inside where the lug holes are. And these wheels are just really tough to get in there all the way around the barrels with the, uh, with the gigantic brake calipers. But do your best. And like I said, when I go in there with the power washer, we're gonna get it all out anyway. And these wheels are a little bit of a pain in the ass to clean, but it doesn't matter. Some of you guys are going to have wheels that are harder to clean than this. Okay. That wheel's done. Let's move, on, move over to the next one. gallon buckets uh, to do the wheels just because they're a hell of a lot lighter to move around the car. No reason to carry a five, five gallon bucket around your car. It just doesn't make sense. Okay? And that Malco Red Thunder just eats up anything that's on there. There we go. Oh, this shirt, this sprayer is freaking awesome. It's 80 bucks, but you know what? 
it's gonna make your freaking life so much easier. It really is, guys. If you haven't bought one, you better get out there and get one. These things are freaking awesome. job done. Stay motivated. Like my friends would always say growing up, they didn't work in the cars and we didn't have heat in the shop. The heat's in the tools, guys. <laughs> All right. So some of you old timers may have heard that expression, but uh, just get it done. Stay motivated. Here we go. I'm actually gonna make an extension arm for the smaller wheel woolly. I, I didn't mean to do it, it's, in, it's on my things to do list because I wanna be able to get further in the back of my wheels. And uh, I used to use a different brush years ago and it was like triple the size of this, but it wasn't an automotive brush. I think it was some sort of uh, industrial brush that I got from Granger. Okay, second wheel down, let's move over to the other side. I mean, just look at the atomization and the coverage that you get with this sure shot sprayer. I and mean, it's no joke. I'm gonna try to condense this video best I can in editing, but some of you guys actually wanna see the real time, see how long it takes. But uh, I'm a freaking machine, I work fast. And the cold is definitely slowing me down. I'll tell you that now. Oh jeez, it's gotta get done. I waited all week to do this. But it keeps snowing, so. All right, that's it. Last and final wheel, let's get over there. You guys can probably hear the wind. It's roaring. I just hope the wind doesn't ruin the video because I don't want to put music throughout the video. I mean, look at that. You want to apply wheel cleaner the right way and the best way? This is it right here. That's it. Wheel woolies are the absolute best tools ever that have come out to clean alloy wheels. I'm telling you, I don't like using bristle brushes on the wheels. I mean, if the wheels are silver, you wouldn't really worry too much about scratching them, but most cars today are coming with black wheels and it seems to be a big trend that is here to stay.
guys. That's it. Just walk around. All the wheels are cleaned. Tires are cleaned. Paint is pre-treated. Okay, so that's the recap. We did a solution of Chemical Guys VO7 with distilled water and one pump of honeydew snow foam in the solo sprayer. We pre-treated the entire car to loosen up and break up some of the salt that's on the car. We used a sure shot sprayer with the Griot's Garage original wheel cleaner. I charged the sprayer to 125 PSI. We did all the wheels. You saw the atomization, you see the results. Um, pretty much used the wheel woolies and a microfiber mitt with a three gallon smaller bucket. And uh, gonna put everything on. I'm gonna strap the camera back on me and we're gonna finish this wash. I'm gonna show you guys the results. Just to nozzle up, this is how we clean the chassis.
that was fun. <laughs> so guys, that's the uh, preliminary rinse down and uh, first step of the wash. The wheels are done, tires are done. I, you saw how I used the articulating wand here to go underneath and clean off the chassis. It's a must have, you guys gotta get this. It's a little hard to control because this sucker's freaking powerful. But uh, now we're gonna switch over, we're gonna foam the car, and then we're gonna go through our normal wash procedure. As you guys can see, by putting the VO7 in the foam cannon, it makes it more like a wax, where it's a much thinner soap. I don't want a heavy foam right now, because it's just going to increase the chances of it freezing. Uh, so we're going to go over to the buckets, we're going to start the wash. Got the gloves on. You guys can see how I can move this bucket around. So we're gonna do panel, one panel at a time, and look at the reach of the microfiber mop and how much easier this makes your life. Okay, it's like gliding off the surface because of all the protection that's on the car. Here's my rinse bucket. back in here. You're gonna to wanna to start always, I start with the hood, the windshield, and then I move over to the roof. That's just, you know, everybody does it their own way. I don't suggest starting cleaning the car on the very bottom. Back into the bucket. With a little bit of practice, you get the hang of it using this versus a conventional wash bit. Don't forget the headlights, those things get pretty trashed. Like I said, the Chemical Guys VO7, that stuff is like a miracle chemical. It's really the only thing that's stopping this from freezing over right now on my car that I found that works. Because believe it or not, I always thought back in the days that too much soap, if you put a little bit extra more soap, it would stop it from freezing, but that's not true. And you guys gotta get 
really good boots to do this because I'll tell you right now, my feet are perfectly dry. <laughs> and if you do this with sneakers, you're gonna, you're gonna complain and you're not gonna be happy. Just walk around the car, do your job. And it's going quick. Probably working on this, not even 30 minutes. And I know some of you guys don't have access to water and you gotta go to either an automatic car wash. I don't think I would personally use one on my car. I'd rather just freeze my ass off and do it this way, the right way. And like I said, when winter here, you gotta pretty much plan this according to the forecast because uh, I didn't plan it today. <laughs> but sometimes in the winter we do get days that they get a little bit warmer. And today isn't one of those days, unfortunately. So I am, I am just dying to get this thing done. So that's it guys, that's pretty much the whole car properly washed my way, which I think is a great way. And uh, just a couple of techniques have changed along the way. So recap, wheels are clean, tires are clean. We pre-treated the paint, we power washed the entire car off with the pre-treatment after it sat for about 10 minutes power wash the wheel wells, the wheels off, underneath the chassis, underneath the rocker panels. We did everything with the articulating power washer wand. We used a two bucket method here with the microfiber mop and uh, the Chemical Guys VL7 in the rinse water. I put I think 12 or 15 squirts and uh, honeydew snow foam in the soap bucket. Now we're gonna rinse this sucker off and uh, go to the drying stage. Complete. I'm going to put the power washer away and we're going to dry this sucker off. Stay tuned.
you guys got to dry out the jams because they will freeze. Look at the way I, I got to throw this stuff out. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, we wanna leave a little bit of water on the car just because we're gonna dry it now with the PFM towel. It's too damn cold for the water to evaporate right now. So usually in the winter, I take the PFM towel on my table and then I spray the VO7 on it like this. I took my glove off just because they're getting a little too warm. So spray it liberally on the towel and then flip it and do the other side. Let's go dry this sucker off. Best towel ever, I swear. I mean, look at that. One pass and it's done. And I got the heat on in my garage. So when I'm done out here, I'm gonna roll it in there and then that's why I could do any of the fine little touch-ups if I have to But some of you guys may not have to have the heat in the garage, but I'm just gonna do it But you guys could see the results the car looked like absolute crap when I started and It's so damn slick that I could feel it when I'm drying it right now. I mean, it's unbelievable. You can see the jams, they're spotless. I mean, the interior of the car, that's a video for another day. I'm not gonna do that now because uh, I don't have time. Okay, you wanna clean the jams. Man, it's definitely freaking cold. But you know what, the faster you work, it's not that bad. I just feel it in my face. You want to blow everything out of there. And like I said, any little drips, don't be stressing it out. This is not a detail. This is just a really thorough winter wash to get all the freaking crap off your car. But uh, I mean, I wish you guys could feel the paint because it's, it's perfect. There's no scratches, there's no swirl marks, and it feels like I just waxed it. And it's been quite a while since I threw a coat of wax on this. About a month already, and, so, and many, many washes. And the VO7 on the G, on the PFM towel, I think, is the freaking ultimate drying aid. I mean, you guys could see this. I hope the camera could pick up the resolution because uh, it got cloudy out now, so maybe it'll come out a little bit better on film. But it's flawless. I mean, look at that, guys. The results speak for themselves. Okay, we're gonna do the wheels. We're down at the home stretch, guys. 
and I appreciate everyone that's supported the channel and my efforts and loves the feedback because I'm telling you, man, I changed a lot of people's lives by putting this channel up on certain, doing certain things, especially car washing. And that's not really my claim to fame when it comes to the automotive world. <laughs> but uh, hey, if I could share some of the stuff that I came up with just by being nuts over these years and playing around with different solutions and chemicals and, you know, we have different lifestyle scenarios up here that you guys don't get in Florida or California, you know, with the temperatures in the winter. So it becomes more challenging and processes dramatically have to change and uh, you have to adapt to them and use the products that are readily available and then you'll do an outstanding job. Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to have to do any touch-ups on the car in the garage. I mean, I'm just going to throw it in there and park it for now, grab some lunch, and then uh, when I get some time, I'll edit this video, get it live, and uh, talk to you all you guys. And I can't wait to get the comments telling me I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, it's, you got to humor the world. It's okay. You know, sometimes people just don't want to change. And I'm all about change and trying things out differently. And that's it. So let me go grab the, uh, the G6, throw it on the tires, and call it a day. So guys, I'm spraying the G6 on a, just a typical microfiber wax pad. Two spurts. And like I said, it's winter. Don't go crazy trying to shine up your tires because nobody's going to be looking at them. Just do it for some protection. It'll help all the road grime not stick to the car. Okay, we're done. All right, guys, winter wash is a success. We're done. You guys can see, the car looks outstanding. Impeccable gloss. Oh my God, you guys, I wish you guys could feel this. You gotta get the colonite waxes. It looks outstanding. So I hope you guys appreciated this video and the time I took to make it and to freeze my ass to share with you guys my technique and how I do things a little bit differently in the winter. Uh, remember, three buckets, one three-gallon bucket for the wheels. I use the two industrial Rubbermaid buckets and I showed you how I joined those together. Okay. Microfiber and wash mop kit. You guys know all about that. Chemical Guys VO7 Honeydew Snow Foam. Uh, sure Shot Sprayer, Solo Sprayer. Watch the beginning of the video. I'll tell you all about how I mix all those chemicals together. And uh, Grios PFM towels to do the wheels, the jams, to dry the car. Spray the VO7 on the towels, not on the car. And the VO7 prevents the soap and everything from freezing on the car. My driveway, it's 28 degrees right now. And it's not frozen at all. And I think it has a lot to do with the way I mix my chemicals today. And I've been doing it for years. This is not the first rodeo uh, washing a car below freezing temps. But uh, it's, it's grueling. It's not easy. Be prepared. Get a right hat, weatherproof boots, jacket, insulated rubber gloves. You've got to pick up the power washer wand with the articulating head. I'm going to put links to everything I used here. If anybody got questions on how to do it, send me an email direct, autofanatic at yahoo.com. Please subscribe. Any questions, comments, post them below. Have a great day, guys.